Have you ever seen a movie with a giant spinning column of wind? That's a tornado. It's a powerful storm that looks like a funnel. The funnel is narrow at the bottom where it touches the ground. It's wider at the top where it's connected to a thunderstorm cloud. Tornadoes are amazing and scary. They can spin really fast, sometimes over 300 miles per hour. That's faster than a race car. They can pick up houses, cars, and even trees like they're toys. But don't worry, tornadoes are usually short-lived. They don't last very long. Most tornadoes happen in a part of the United States called Tornado Alley. It's a flat area with lots of thunderstorms, which are perfect for making tornadoes. But tornadoes can happen in other places too, so how do these spinning storms form? Imagine a giant pot of boiling water. The hot water rises and the cold water sinks, creating a swirling motion. Tornadoes form in a similar way, but instead of water, it's air. It all starts with a thunderstorm. Warm, moist air near the ground collides with cold, dry air above. This creates instability in the atmosphere, like a seesaw wanting to tip over. As the warm air rises rapidly, it can start to spin if the winds are changing speed and direction at different heights. This spinning column of air acts like a giant vacuum cleaner, sucking up more air from the ground and growing stronger. Eventually, the spinning column of air becomes visible as a funnel cloud. When the funnel cloud touches the ground, voila, you have a tornado. Tornadoes come in different shapes and sizes. Some are thin and rope-like, while others are wide and wedge-shaped. The length of a tornado's path can vary too. Some tornadoes touch down for a short distance, while others travel for miles, leaving a trail of destruction. The speed of a tornado is measured by the Enhanced Fujita Scale, or EF Scale for short. The scale ranges from EF0, the weakest, to EF5, the strongest. EF0 tornadoes have winds of 65 to 85 miles per hour and can damage trees and signs. EF5 tornadoes, on the other hand, are monsters with winds over 200 miles per hour. Tornadoes are dangerous because of their strong winds and flying debris. The winds can pick up cars, rip apart houses, and even tear the bark off trees. The flying debris, like pieces of wood and metal, can be just as dangerous as the wind itself. But can even the strongest tornado destroy a house made of stone? Stone houses seem strong, right? And they are. Stone is much heavier and sturdier than wood, but even a stone house isn't always a match for the incredible power of a tornado. You see, a tornado's wind doesn't just push against a house, it also creates a difference in air pressure. Think of it like sucking juice through a straw. The low pressure inside the straw pulls the juice up. Similarly, a tornado's low pressure can pull the roof off a house, even a stone one. Once the roof is gone, the walls are much easier for the wind to knock down. So, while a well-built stone house might offer more protection than a wooden one, it's still important to seek shelter in a basement or a sturdy storm cellar if a tornado is approaching. Now let's move on from tornadoes and explore another type of powerful storm hurricanes. Hurricanes are like giant swirling storms that form over warm ocean waters. They bring heavy rain, strong winds, and can cause massive flooding and damage. The 21st century has seen its share of devastating hurricanes. Here are five that stand out. Hurricane Katrina in 2005. This catastrophic hurricane devastated New Orleans, Louisiana, causing widespread flooding and displacing thousands of people. Hurricane Sandy in 2012. Sandy was a unique and powerful storm that merged with a winter storm, causing record-breaking storm surge and flooding along the east coast of the United States. Hurricane Harvey in 2017. This slow-moving hurricane dumped trillions of gallons of rain on Texas, causing catastrophic flooding in Houston and surrounding areas. Hurricane Maria in 2017. Maria devastated the island of Dominica and Puerto Rico, causing widespread damage and knocking out power for months. Hurricane Dorian in 2019. Dorian stalled over the Bahamas as a Category 5 hurricane, causing catastrophic damage and loss of life. These are just a few examples of the destructive power of hurricanes. Now let's learn how these powerful storms form. Hurricanes are different. They are born over warm ocean waters near the equator. Here's how it happens. First, hurricanes need warm ocean water, at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit to form. 
the warm, moist air above the ocean rises, creating an area of low pressure. As the warm, moist air rises, more air rushes in to replace it. This air also heats up and rises, creating a cycle of rising air and low pressure. Next, the Earth's rotation causes the rising air to spin, creating a rotating storm system. This spinning is what gives hurricanes their circular shape. As the storm system continues to draw in warm, moist air, it grows stronger and more organized. If the winds reach 74 miles per hour, the storm is officially classified as a hurricane. Hurricanes are powerful forces of nature, but there are things we can do to prepare for them and stay safe. While we can't stop tornadoes and hurricanes, we can take steps to protect ourselves and our communities. Here are some important things to remember. Before the storm, stay informed. Pay attention to weather reports and warnings from the National Weather Service. Have a plan. Create a family emergency plan that includes evacuation routes, meeting places, and a communication strategy. Prepare your home. Secure loose objects outside, trim trees, and board up windows. During the storm, seek shelter. If a tornado warning is issued, go to a basement or a small interior room on the lowest level of your home. Stay away from windows. Evacuate if necessary. If you live in a hurricane-prone area and an evacuation order is given, leave immediately. Stay calm and patient. Storms can be scary, but it's important to stay calm and follow safety instructions from authorities. Remember, preparation is key. By being prepared, we can weather the storm and stay safe. Tornadoes and hurricanes are powerful reminders of nature's incredible force. While they can be destructive, they are also important parts of our planet's weather system. By understanding how these storms form, we can better predict when and where they might occur. This knowledge helps us prepare, stay safe, and minimize damage. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we learn about weather, the better equipped we are to face nature's challenges and appreciate its wonders.